Welcome to my channel. This is Sam, and I'm playing Red Dead Redemption 2. Sala, two chapters are done. The third chapter is also done. It's gone ahead. But there's nothing fast traveling in this game. I didn't get anything until now. Let's go to the next one. कल मेरे दोस्त ने कुछ चेंज किया था सेव हुई है लेकिन उसने ग्राफिक सेटिंग में कुछ चेंज का मतलब करने का कोशिश कर रहा था क्योंकि वो मुझे दिखा रहा था कि मैं 30 एपीएस से भी कम में खेल रहा हूँ गेम सब कुछ हाई क्वालिटी में था अल्ट्रा में था अल्ट्रा में है तो ये शायद ये प्रॉब्लम हो रहा है बड़ा किधर है मेरा इधर कुछ तो है लेकिन ये दूर है थोड़ा जैसे कि यहाँ पे कॉम्स्टन स्टेड इतना दूर जाना पड़ेगा इस पॉइंट से हटा देता हूँ तो मतलब अबे हट कह नहीं रहा ये पता नहीं कभी कभी ये प्रॉब्लम क्यों होता है एक मिशन भी दिखा रहा है अब लोगों ने देखा वहाँ पे कुछ जब भी कुछ सर्कल टाइप का आएगा ना तब भी समझ लेना कि वहाँ पे कुछ मिशन है और डाच भी शेरी पॉकेट्स के अंदर बैठा हुआ है वहाँ मैं जाऊँ वाले की ना भी नहीं अभी दूर वाला देखता हूँ क्या है क्या नहीं है क्यों देखे रखा हूँ वहाँ पे मिशन बहुत दूर है दिखा दूँ कितना दूर है ये अच्छा दूर है यहाँ से ऐसे जाऊँगा ऐसे करके ऐसे करके आऊँगा The auto shift slot already contains the required history. Iniquities of history. इसलिए मैं दूसरा सेव बनाना ही नहीं चाह रहा था कि चलो राइट में ही जाना है राइट से फिर लेफ्ट घूमना है जितना दूर जा सकता हूँ जाता हूँ जैसे अच्छा मैं इतना घूम के क्यों जाऊँ? फर्क पड़ होगा मैं दस साल की ना नाश्ता ही तो है मैदान है खाली मैदान I can go from this it doesn't matter if straight road or human made path 
and travel through ground as we are on our way. This place looks suspicious. I don't know. It looked like that there was something here, but there is nothing. So I'm gonna just go where I was going. I will go straight, I think. Just There is a place nearby. Somebody is here. Let me check this. Place. Whole lot of country for you to linger in. This here patch is mine. Go on and make tracks. Huh? I ain't here to cause trouble. If I start shooting, it's over for you. You found the wrong Anybody saw me? We only had like this looks like something. Whatever the it is inside, and there is nothing. I still don't get why this guy was firing on me. I think he did not like any other company, any company, any type of company. That's why he shot at me. Just stay the hell away from snakes, all right? Hey, boy. Yeah. 
<clears throat> so we save that guy. For Comson's watch, this time in Legend. By order of Judge Meredith Holden in the courts of the state of Lemoyne, we do hereby grant repossession of this property and all items here into the Bank of Roads. M. Holden, Judge Holden, Henrietta Blackley, Clerk, November 18th, 1895. I think I need to find another way in. Is that a card? Oh yes. There must be another way. We will try from this end. I think there's the same thing written over to this side also. Ranger, watch, pistol. close the cabinet for June 7th 1855 dear sir please accept this likeness of your family as a small token of appreciation for your assistance in the recovery of my property like your old pa, you're a cunning old dog and a credit to this community. Wow. Yours, Colonel Joshua Nixon, the Ascension Plantation. <laughs> April 2nd, 1870. Dear Mr. Compson, I'm afraid there's no more work for you down here at the plantation. I'm grateful for the help you've given us and the help your pappy and your pappy's pappy gave us before you. These are trying times for all of us. You are in our thoughts and prayers. Yours truly, Colonel J. Nixon, the Ascension Plantation. And that's the watch. That's the old watch. Now the ledger and the pistol. What's that? Is that a... Uh, what other thing is I cannot take it? I don't know why. Maybe I'm full. Dear Jeremiah, there ain't nothing here any value. I wouldn't give you a nickel for it. Come by for a sup of whiskey anytime. Bill. Yes. I was sorry to hear of Betsy's passing. Things is easier up there for sure.
Listening to the team. Of importance. Okay. Where is all this old crap? God damn it. Told you to stay away from the boy. He don't want this. <laughs> Heck, none of us want nothing to do with you. Rance. Ah, trap door, huh? Okay. <laughs> what you doing here? We found this place first. Yeah, easy. So that guy got just looking stuff. around for some things. Mm. That old revolver yours. <laughs> Finders keepers. Ah, son of a bitch! Oh, God damn it! Damn it. Oh, come on, man! Where are you going? Oh, come on! Gonna get you! It's a knife fighter. There's a trap door right here. Dear Mr. Thompson, after numerous complaints from customers and fellow employees alike, we must terminate your employment. There's just no place for a man like you at the Central Union Railroad Company. The legend must be down there. It's this way. Well, that's that. I was somewhere near Rhodes when they caught me. Till the day I die, I ain't gonna forget the sound of that dog. God. Why well, didn't pick that up? What the legend? Maybe this one is. This oh, your no. ledger? A list of slaves? Uh, rewards. January 15th, Betsy, $17. January 18th, Louise, $12. May 18th, Wilfred, $18. May 24th, Minnie and Child, $20.
I just I have to close this I think when somebody will come for this house they will know that this place is already emptied to this guy and then go for the next mission guy is very close by so I uh, saved two guys from snake bites some respect I was respected once I had a profession you asked me to get you something there's no bringing back what I want I want my job my pride the respect accorded to a gentleman what about this old crap huh my things don't you understand those bastards they changed everything I was a good worker I took pride in my work. They, they, they took it away. Pissed on my legacy. Oh, man. Some jobs ain't for saving. And some legacies? Oh, they, they are for pissing what off. What are you doing? That's, that's my history. Damn you. Damn you. I still exist! <laughs> I don't know why I tried to chew his leisure in the fire. Maybe because those people in the ledger are mostly slaves and Arthur didn't want any more trouble for those slaves. So we go to this Caliga Hall, this place next. Okay. Marked it already. Let's go. Maybe we do two missions. Okay. Please don't tell me any friends are coming. Is like super bad luck, and I'm this high off the ground. If I make the jump, my health will be half along with my horse health. That's not good. Just come to safely pass through this place. Actually, I think I will go straight along the rail path, railway. Then I will take this turn and do this. Is that a crocodile? Okay, rock meat, huh? Yeah. 
Maybe these guys are good people. What the? Why don't you mind your business and keep walking, huh? Don't have to tell me twice. That's right. Well along now. Hell, all of the morn can hear you boys smashing that thing. Hope you're willing to share. Real stupid, pal. Boy. Oh. Yeah. Ah. Follow me, I will kill you. You got my money? Sure. Did she give anything? For me? Yes. Might I have it? Sure. But it'll cost you. Ah, uh, I can't be bothered. Here, take it. Oh, thank you, Arthur. You'll... Thank you. Oh, my God. What a woman. She's... This'll get her killed, for sure. What? Women's suffrage. Around here, they don't even like men voting. They bring back the monarchy, given half the chance. Progress is a dirty word in these parts. Unlike incest. Excuse me? I don't want to marry my cousin Matilda. I want to marry Penelope. But they're gonna... They'll kill her at one of those rallies they're holding. They've done it before. Mister, you gotta help. No, I'm afraid I don't want no part of it. I'll pay. My family, we've still got some money. Fine. Just no more running around with letters. Thank you. Come on. We better get going. I only got $12 for that. Man, up, all right. Follow me to Rhodes. Come on! Come on! Yeah! We'll go around the property and take the road to town. Hope I don't get into trouble for this. And that's up to me. Easy boy, calm down. I can't be calm. If we don't get there in time, my true love may be shot. If she wants to rally, you gotta let her rally. Well, good as the cause is, I can't let her become a martyr to it. I, I want to marry a flesh and blood woman, not a statue in her honor. I'm sure they know what they're doing. There! There they are! Bo, what are you doing here? I cannot let you go through with this. You'll be killed. I'm prepared to die for the cause, Bo. You know that. Do something, please. Do what? Fight this mob? We must begin. Leading me alive. This is no laughing matter, sir. They need protecting from certain elements. Mostly my family. Penelope, I beg you. I'll tell you what. Your friend here can drive the wagon for us. It'll allow us to shout all the louder. Hip hooray! So, 
Miss Calhoun. Miss Calhoun. My friend here says he can drive the wagon. Well, Olive Calhoun. Normally I like to drive myself, but today I feel like a man joining us sends the right message. Well, I ain't never been in a protest march before, madam. Well, just treat us like the sheep and the folks attacking us like the wolves, and I'm sure you feel right at home. Shall we go? <clears throat> All right, ladies. We know our song is a good one, and we know our calls is a pure one. Yes, ma'am. Let liberty reign. We're my wise housekeepers and daughters. We cook the food and we fetch the water, singing songs of freedom. How far is this? Oh, man, it's going to take Glory eternity. Now, now. Take us down Main Street, right through town to the steps of the Becker Road, Mr. What was your name? Arthur Morgan. Very good, Mr. Morgan. Not too quick and not too slow. We need them to hear our voice. Well, they'll hear it all right. Very good, very good. Mr. Morgan. Are you an old friend of the movement? I'm just a driver, Mrs. Calhoun. Maybe a shotgun messenger if it comes to it. I don't know. Our message will be delivered peaceably, Mr. Morgan. You can keep your shotgun to yourself. Stay on Main Street. It's a left up here, Mr. Morgan. Look at these people. It's about to get exciting. I can feel it. I believe you will be right. Good day, Sheriff. I trust you'll make sure it's a peaceful assembly. We begin to live as equals. equals. Ah! Yes, equal, sir. Fair and equal. So this is where this like, is all started. Huh? This is nonsense. Fair, 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 equal, and free, just as the founding fathers intended. Well, mm. Founding fathers, oh. not founding mothers. You hey, silly old goat. Hey, oh. It's philosophy. Hey. What the hell are you doing here, boy? Keep your voice down. I'm trying to listen to this speech. Hello, darling cousin. Don't you ever speak to me like that. What are you doing here? Listening, I suppose. Go help, Bo. His cousin is a moron. Stop them from ruining the speech. You want to learn yourself some manners, cousin? Haven't you got anything better to do? Oh, you always want to talk in those... Bo, weren't we just leaving? Oh, who the hell is this? Speak harsh about my Follow me, right? Or what? You'll hit me? Oh, come on. Sir, Shh. can you not see how idiotic you are? Come on, Bo. Let's go. Quick now. We are all Americans. We gotta go before they think twice. Oh, Lord. Follow me. I know a place. It's an old battlefield no one goes to. You don't want to go back and hear the speeches? I ain't voted before, but kind of getting hot for voting rights. 
I don't know whether to take you seriously, Mr. Morgan. My cousins are my primary concern right now. If everyone knows about Penelope and me... Everyone knows about Penelope and you? I know about Penelope and you, and I've been here all ten minutes. The sooner it's out, the sooner it's resolved. The sooner it's dealt with, you mean? We're dealt with. Our families, the Greys and the Braithwaites, we bury our secrets, and we bury them deep. Your secrets and your treasure? You know, Catherine Braithwaite's got a daughter. No one's seen her in years. She were uh. right? Yeah, and Penelope said... Uh, I ain't heard about daughters. I heard about gold. So well, this thing happened to you guys? I fear that's just a story, Mr. Morgan. But I don't know. <laughs> it was stuck in that specific place. Sometimes it just gave his horse and not. This is awful! Nobody died. Ain't that awful. My cousins are vindictive bastards. My brothers are vindictive bastards. My cousins are worse. They started it. I know. But. You should leave. I will, as soon as I have enough money. When my family, we have money, but I don't. Is your family very rich? Yes, well, I believe so. But uh, they keep me out of the discussions. I have more of a artistic temperament, so. Oh, is that what they call it? Yes. Oh, you made a joke. Mm. I really love her, I do. Well, stick around. Maybe you can die for her as well. I thought you were trying to make me feel better. Look, I gotta go. Me too. Oh, damn! I'm gonna be late. My uncle is quite as bad as you would imagine. Uh, here, your payment. Thank you. I excuse me. Sorry, what is the payment? La la, only thirty dollars. Okay, there are two uh, new missions now. One is at this Clemens point where we actually are staying, and one at this place. So it's only 38 minutes. So let's uh, go do this. Dutch mission because he is waiting there for quite some time. And if I could even go straight, it will take me twice the time. Okay, so bounty hunters are on me. Maybe I will go for this mission first. After that, we'll go for Dutch. Because uh, I have told you guys earlier that. Somebody is here. Maybe he is bitten by a snake or something. Okay, behold. Hmm. 
and that punishment looks very thick time. Get it close. Ooh, this. Going up. I don't think I can do anything like this. So I'll just leave it alone. Let's go, boy. Yeah. We are going to the place where we are staying. I don't know whose land is this, but I'm still using this land as shortcut here. Inside the territory, that's why territory. This is why I need the fast travel thing. Oh no. Let's go to Dutch's uh, place already forty four minutes. He's close. He's close, man. I want to go to that place where we are staying. It would take 
at least five minutes to reach that place and then start the mission. So I will just do this one instead. Of course, of course. Oh, and here is my dear friend, Arthur Callahan. Boy is a hunter. Boy is a killer. Arthur, you've met but not been introduced to Mr. Oh, I'm so sorry. Sheriff. Well, how are you doing, sir? I'm fine. Tough business you boys had. We did? Well, there's no need to pretend with me, sir. Life can be tough. So it can. And no man owes another anything. No, sir. But still, I feel you were hard done by. Losing your employment like that? But still, here in Rhodes, we have work enough for honest men. Oh, that's some strong stuff. Still, don't seem to be doing you any harm, I guess. Exactly. Whoa. Excuse me a moment. He's gonna puke. I told you we was moving up in this world. Deputies. You have finally lost your mind. Amongst these drunkards, hillbillies, and slavers? Good honest thieves like us. We're bound to be moralizers in a place like this. Oh, Sheriff Gray, you are back. <laughs> now listen, sir. There is shine in them woods, though, and it is cost in this county its good name and the state a whole lot of income. You boys wouldn't mind rooting it out. Maybe we'll make you permanent. I gotta set me down a second. Not a problem, sir. Not a problem at all. You are in safe hands now. And people waste time with the temperance movement. Liquor never dulled a good man's senses. Arthur, you ride with the deputy. Bill and I will follow. Climb on up. Let's go. Archibald. Mm. Where are we going? That far? How are oh, you? Man. Pretty good. So we have and your like friend is behaving any himself? badges now? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, I think he's learned his lesson. Congratulations on becoming a temporarily deputized citizen of Scarlet Meadows County. Most towns just get bounty hunters to do their dirty work these days, but Sheriff Gray believes the law should keep the law. Now, I'm sure I don't need to remind you there's a chain of command here. There is? Dang straight there is. This is a dangerous business, but follow my lead and you'll be just fine. Sure. Huh? Hmm. Archibald wants to remind us he's in charge here. Of course. Who else would be? You were a big help with them Anderson boys, and I put in a very good word with the sheriff on your behalf. We appreciate that. We rounded up the others soon after. I'm pushing for the rope myself, but that's by the by. So, these moonshiners. Not just any moonshiners, Braithwaites. I told you about the Braithwaites. Pretty sure you did. Old Cotton family had a fortune at one point until, well, a few changes in the labor laws. Now we they're the dealing with moonshine. We found their stills hidden all hey. over Lemoyne. Quick as we destroy one, another one pops up. You could call it a pitiful fall from grace, if they had any grace to start with. I have no time for tax dodgers. Not to mention the fact that Catherine Braithwaite has a rather expensive interest in thoroughbred horses to maintain. But I heard something about it being gold these families were fighting over. Well, that's the rumor. But the Greys and the Braithwaites think the others stole a fortune from them. But it happened so... 
Oh man, it's still too far. So long ago, I don't know for sure if it's true. Must be tough being rich, huh? <laughs> so I imagine. That bad rather suits you, Mr. W. Yes. I thought so too. Does it feel good to be back at it, serving your country? I wouldn't go that far. Whoa! Whoa! Hold up! You see that wagon? You could try washing once in a while. Come on, mister. Keep your eyes open. Oh, this must have happened recently. Hey, come have a look at this. Look, suit and tie, one bullet clean through the forehead. Well, my money says this is the handiwork of a gang called the Lemoyne Raiders. Yeah, I've run into them. Let's see if we've got any identification. Okay, we should get going. I'll send someone over here later to clean this up. There's nothing to take. And I cannot leave that. Dangerous business, the life of a lawman, isn't it? Appears so. I'm just glad. Would you mind taking the reins? I want to have a look at these papers. Sure. I'll direct you. Okay. Frederick Mitchell. So now I'm driving. Lemoyne State Legislator. Poor fella. Yes, this certainly smacks of the Raiders to me. A bunch of ex-army free staters without an ounce of respect for the law. That's seven government officials they've murdered this year alone. Yep. Not the nicest fellas in my experience. Go right at the crossroads. Oh, and I know the Braithwaites are in business with them. No shame. Trash begets trash, my Uncle Reginald used to say. They're right again here. He had a few stories, let me tell you. Town preacher and town sheriff. The drink a sailor under the table before breakfast. He had one tiny hand Maybe that gang like a child that that's on the end of a grown man's arm. But Maybe anyway, they're following that gang. What kind of people the Braithwaites are. Step. Selling moonshine to murderers. I tell folks don't even up. speak to him. Don't even look him in the eye. I'm sure I wouldn't. Here we are. So what was I saying? Something about the Braithwaites, I think. Even saying that word makes me sick. Now, anyone we find here, we bring in alive, understood? Round them up and take this operation down for good. Come on. Let's see what we're dealing with. See? What did I tell you, boys? What did I say? I said this place was crawling with vermin, and we just found ourselves the rat's nest par excellence, as they say in Paris. My aunt, she went to Paris back in 78. How handle this? Well, the way I said... Actually... My friend here beside, he doesn't have your fine play of words, but he is definitely the man for the Come on, why is he not running fast? Don't 
take this fight. Remember what he said. We need them alive. Let's just knock them out the time. You see one guy there. I saw another one guarding the still. I'll get this feller trussed up. They want you guys off tight like <laughs> I got the wagon guy. This one's That's it. Well, what do we do now? We better destroy all this. Any of your boys can handle explosives? Sure. Anyone but him. Oh, so real funny, don't you? Tell me about <laughs> That is the last time I'll mention it, I swear.
bow sword I guess. behind you guys all right i'll see you over there Good. so many guys here so so yes i need to This is the last way I look. Oh. Let's keep going. Uh, return to our lives. Ah, seems like we failed to destroy the last of the moonshine. Sure. Would you like us to? Well, I normally take it for personal consumption. It's sort of part of the job. But I better get back home. Why don't I just take a jug or two and leave you boys the rest to show that there's no hard feelings on account of the war? We are all Americans. Of course. My cousin, Webster, he used to say some of us is not as American as others, if you know what I mean. Only I didn't quite. Come on, you degenerate, no good, white trash, hillbilly piece of scum. I know you, Billy Lime. Finally. You've always been a Finally. piece of crap. Come on, move. We have a life on, on the land so stupid, a backwater so backwards that even we are like geniuses. <laughs> Get this stuff out of here! Come on. You ride with me. Okay. Should I stash this somewhere near Camp Yes! Show it to Hosea. I'm sure he can find a use for it. Bit of trouble back there, Arthur? Ain't there always. From what they was yelling, I think they were the buyers. Old Archibald didn't ask too many questions, so neither should we. I ain't planning to. That was worth the effort, though. Deputized and hiding in plain sight. I these the men, these two families. I mean, I really think we can play this from all sides. It's got Jose written all uh, over prediction. it. This is starting to sound like the Young Dutch again. What do you mean, Young Dutch? I'm as strong as I have ever been. Hey, you know what? Why don't I race you back? Okay, you're on. That's the spirit. Okay, on my word. Set, go! You never were much of a rider. We'll see about that. Rider, but now I'm between.
guys too far it's already one hour five minutes so we'll reach to that place here and then i will end the video i don't think my horse can run that far Southfield Flats, uh, so I'll go straight and I would love to see the look on Dutch's face when he is the winner. the fact that you haven't learned after all these years to ride a horse very well that is a source of great sorrow to me very funny i have fun with you today be well here well i was gonna say you're like a son to me but you're more than that thank you guys for watching stay tuned for more and don't forget to subscribe i'll be back with more exciting videos so don't forget to like, subscribe and follow and share with your friends. Until then, goodbye. See you soon, guys. Okay, only progress 2% in one hour. <laughs> That's... <laughs> Great.